My name's Sophie Simnet. I left Putney in 2016 and I'm an actor. So I grew up um, in Chiswick, which is near Putney, um, with my family. And I joined Putney in 2009, in year seven. Um, it was my favorite school when I was looking around them. I just remember that I was looking around schools and they were all gray with yellow lockers. And I got to Putney and they had purple staircases and I was like, this is my jam, this is, this is where I need to be. <laughs> but I was so pleased because it was always my number one choice. And I just thought, if I don't get in, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want to go anywhere else. Unsurprisingly, my favourite subject at school was drama, Miss Burford, Miss Coulston, Miss Armstrong, shout out, great team, um, and Miss Pugh. Uh, we had a great time. I remember like, the GCSE course and the A-level course was just, it was amazing. I remember coming in every day and just being like, when's drama? And then I can just focus on that. <laughs> I think at Putney, I found that they really encouraged out of school activities, they really nurtured if you had an interest, whether that was creative or sport or like scientific. You know, there were every assembly there was a girl sort of winning a robot making award while someone was running a marathon. It was just like one of those schools where they had, you know, a, people in every year who were doing something astounding. So at school, I decided to kind of partake in every club available, which proved more difficult than expected. Um, I played on the lacrosse team for a long time. Um, sort of jumping between teams and I, I loved lacrosse, I loved the sport, I, lo I had the best team. The team happened to be my 15 like, best friends. I guess one of my proudest achievements would have been completing my levels and, and doing it. There were a lot of times where I was like, why like, am I going to be able to do it You know, on set? We had so little time to revise. I had Sunday mornings, that was literally my only time, and car journeys where I wasn't asleep. Um, so there were a lot of times where it was a time where I was just thought maybe I should just not do it and retake it next year. And I'm so glad I did. And I wouldn't have been able to do it without the teachers helping me out. When I left Putney, I, I had applied for university. I wasn't sure if I was wanted to go or I just sort of did it because it was easier to do it at school because UCAS is, is a dark hole. Um, <laughs> but I applied and I spent some time considering whether I wanted to go or not. At that time, I was still doing, we were doing kind of press for the lodge and promoting the first season. And then in the end, I decided not to, I deferred it. And then recently, I've, I've um, denied my place because I've decided that I'd rather keep working. That's kind of what I want to do. And if I do want to go back to uni, I will. Um, luckily, I've got some the grades to be able to do that. So yeah, I really went straight into working. I was lucky that I had uh, a stable acting job, which I went back to, um, and was doing a few jobs in between. Like I did some stuff for ITV on Endeavour and this new show called Ransom for CBS. Um, and now I'm working on Poldark. I'm a very proud alumna. I tell everyone about Putney. Um, and I'm so pleased that they always invite me back for, you know, to listen, to talk, to help. You know, it's, it's really amazing. And, and because it meant so much to me, it's like any way I can pay back, I will. Um, and even this project, when they asked me, I was like, are you sure? <laughs> like, I've only been gone for five, like, a, just over a year. Um, but... Yeah, it's. I've I've always said I want to send my kids to Putney if I'm in London. You know, it, it it meant so much to me. I hope it means the same to other people. I hope that Putney stays the same in that in its approach to learning and looking after the girls and the friendship that's fostered there. Um, but I also hope it kind of moves with the time. It, it adapts um, and welcomes change. Um, which, which it did when I was there. I just hope it continues to do that um, and keeps asking me back so I can go see their plays. <laughs>